As we move forward in the Job Centers of the Future initiative, staff are always thinking of ways to better serve the customer. Though COVID-19 has changed how staff interact with clients, what hasn't changed is the goal to serve job seekers and employers in every capacity possible. During the pandemic, staff have been unable to be as hands-on with the customer as they once were, which created a barrier in customer service. That was until Don Bequette, Veterans Representative for the Missouri Department of Higher Education and Workforce Development, developed a plan introducing mirroring. Not only has this technique provided staff with the necessary tools and skills to improve the delivery of services to meet customers where they are, it's implemented effective engagement with job seekers and employers to modernize outreach efforts to achieve effective outcomes and ensuring staff better understand compliance to meet outcomes and revolutionize the WIOA process. But enough small talk. Let's get a private tutorial from Don on just how to improve the customer experience through the power of technology. Hi, I'm Don Bequette, and I'm going to talk to you today about mirroring computers. Um, we've had a, an instance where I came back from the you know, the time we were off work and working from home, we came back and I had a customer that came into the job center and he didn't have uh, much computer skills. So we had set him into our interview room and we, we had these long eight foot tables that we were utilizing. And I put him on a, a computer there and he was struggling utilizing the PC and, and navigating through Mo jobs. So I would like to try to get in close and see what he was talking about, what he was having issues with. And I couldn't really do that at a safe distance. I mean, just, I mean, even if he got up and let me sit down there, still we have like a contaminated space and stuff. So I didn't feel comfortable kind of jumping in there, you know, without completely sanitizing the stuff and everything. So, I said, like, there's got to be a way to be able to help these customers. So, I was, it took me a little bit, but uh, we kind of figured out if if we could uh, if we could utilize like dual monitors, similar to what people have on their desks. I've seen some people with like two or three monitors. If we could set up something like that, where at one end of the table the customer sits, and we sit, the staff sit at the other end. If we can see what other each other's, you know, have on the computer, that'd be very helpful to the customer and very helpful to us as well. It keeps the we're able to assist the customer in a more effective manner, and it's you know it just it just makes it smooth and keeps us safe as well. So we were able to, to identify that hooking up. Like a like for me, I use a I have a tablet and I have a docking station. Well, on my docking station it has multiple USB ports, and it has two display ports for monitors. So I was able to hook up two monitors to my docking station, and I was able to hook up two keyboards and two mice. And so we were able to keep that spread across the table. So what this allows is you can. Window, 10's on, window 10 will allow you to duplicate the screen by hitting Windows P. So if you hit Windows P and you hit duplicate, you can share your screen, what you're, what you're showing on your PC to the customer's screen. Now let's just say you were in there and you were going through some of your files and you didn't want to, you had some sensitive information on your computer and you didn't want the customer to see that. So you can blank in Windows 10, you can hit PC screen only, Windows P, and then PC screen only, and that will shut the customer's monitor off, but they won't be able to see what, you're, what you have on your display. The other thing we tried was on the Chrome box. So we decided to try it on the Chrome box. And on the Chrome box, you can do the same thing. The Chrome box, what we found, has enough USB ports to support the two keyboards and the two mice. And then you can use a splitter, a VGA splitter, off the Chrome box to do basically the same thing. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to do a demonstration, a hands-on demonstration. 
And if for some reason um, you still have questions after this, feel free to call me on my work cell. It's 573-578-2491. Thank you. Okay, so th like this is your normal PC setup for a, a customer. If you set out a customer at a PC, this is what it would look like. You have your normal keyboard input with your USB. And then you also have your mouse over here so and then you got your mouse hooked up in one of the USB ports over here so this is one of those all-in-one computers so what I'm going to show you is how to connect the other setup part of it which is if you want like this uh, this particular monitor has what we call a display port a display port looks like an HDMI cable but it has like a a flat edge on it. So basically on the back of this PC, this has a this one here has a display port and it doesn't have a VGA. So we're going to use the display cable on it. We plug it in there. And then we take keyboard from down this end where the customer is going to sit and we plug that in and we take the mouse and we plug that in and if for some reason these the, the, the mouse cable or the keyboard cable are not long enough they do make USB extension cables for these so if you're finding yourself in that situation. Okay, so we have the monitor cable, we have a mouse cable, and we have a keyboard cable at this end. So now, the customer can basically see what we're seeing. So if you look over here, we have this screen, and if you come over here, you'll see the same thing. I can move the mouse around over here if I wanted to. I could click on the web link and I can type over here with the, utilizing the keyboard. And then if you come over here, you see the same thing. Same exact screen and that. So, if for some reason, let's just say you want to turn that person's monitor off on Windows 10, if you go to the Windows key and hit P, it's going to come up with this menu over here. So, if you want to shut off their monitor, you hit PC only. As you can tell, it shuts their monitor off. So if you wanted to get into another file and you didn't want the customer to see sensitive information, after that, if you're done, let's say you want to go back to a website so now you can have the customer get back in there, then I would hit duplicate. And then once again, the customer sees the same thing that you're seeing. So next, um, I'll show you how to do the Chromebox uh, setup. Okay, so what we have here is a typical Chromebox setup in the job center. We have a mouse connected to a USB port, and we have a keyboard connected through a USB port back here. We have that. And then we have a, on the uh, Chrome box, it has an HDMI cable. So we have an adapter for HDMI to VGA. So right here, we can unscrew that and show you what that's all about. 
right here is a VGA. A lot of your monitors in the job center are VGA monitors. Some of them have dual capabilities like a display port and VGA. So what I'm going to do is hook up the monitor to this adapter for the Chrome box. And that is your typical setup in the job center. So in order to have like a, the mirroring effect where in this case the job seeker can be sitting over there and the staff member can be sitting here and we want to be able to see what the, each other is doing on the computer. So what we've done is come up with a VGA splitter so we can hook up two monitors. So what I'm going to do is disconnect the monitor from the adapter. We're going to put the splitter on there, the male end on the female plug here. So now we have two connections, two female connections. So we're going to take one monitor where the main chrome box is at. We're going to hook that up to, to this plug. The VJ monitor cable from that monitor isn't quite long enough, so we're going to stick this down the hole. And I'm going to crawl underneath here. And we're going to hook up the other VJ there. The mouse and keyboard cables weren't quite long enough, so we bought USB extensions for there. So on the back of your Chrome box, we're going to plug the additional keyboard from that side. And the mouse. So now you can tell that one, two, three, four things connected to USB ports. So you have your two keyboards and your two mice. All right, so we're going to test this out. We're going to come up here. We see our mouse is moving. That's great. We come over here and hit login mode jobs. So everything's working there. If I go in here and I type, you see the keyboard is working. Now if you go over to this side, as you can tell, we have Rala and we have the same picture on this side as we do on that side. We're all enclosed in glass here. The customers over there, we're over here, we're safe. Uh, we're, we're able to help the customer and see exactly what, what they're seeing on their computer, what kind of problems they're having, and give them better assistance from this location. So now we're going to see if the keyboard and mouse works on this side, and it does. So then, as you can see, it works. So now the customer can sit over there, we can sit over here, or vice versa. I would say if the Chrome box is over there, the customer would be more likely sitting over there. Staff member can sit here. And if they're having a problems in the area, they can take their mouse and say, I'm having problems right here, or what does this say? That kind of thing. We'll be able to see exactly what they're talking about. We can take our mouse and say, we'll click over here or answer this question like this.